Hey, and welcome to a new video on Image R. Today, I'll be preparing an image from one of our Facebook group members, Reba. Let's get started. Once you've navigated to image-r.com, you'll see you have three free uploads per day. Scroll down and click the upload button. Now, you can choose between colored or grayscale, depending on what you want to do with the image later. Since we're going to engrave this image, we'll select grayscale. After uploading, you'll have the option to crop your image. In my case, I want to engrave a square format, so I'll check the square crop box. Then I'll move the crop area to get the exact image detail I want. The next step is resizing the image. Since I use the metric system, I'll set the measurement unit to millimeters in the drop-down menu. My desired width is 160 millimeters. The height will adjust automatically. I'm using a compound lens, and for my CO2 laser, the correct DPI is 318. If you don't know your correct DPI yet, you can use the DPI test feature. I've linked a video about DPI testing in the top right corner. Now, let's choose our material. For most lasers, I highly recommend the Cassia algorithm. Since I'm working with birch plywood, I'll select Cassia wood. Next, we start preparing the image. The first thing I usually do is apply the one-touch method, but in this case, I'll turn off sharpen in the dropdown. Don't worry if the image looks grainy in the preview, that's only because your screen can't display all the fine dots at this DPI. If you zoom in, you'll see the individual dots and the graininess will be less noticeable. Next, I'll adjust the levels of the image. Normally, an image has up to 256 shades of grey. However, on the lighter end, your laser might not be able to differentiate between very bright shades, causing detail loss. For my workflow, the perfect amount is 190 shades. I'll make a detailed video about the levels function soon, so please subscribe if you don't want to miss it. This is an important topic. As you can see, the butterfly in our image has some very dark areas that would burn too deeply into the wood, so I'll use the color correction tool to reduce those dark spots. Since the image is still too dark overall, I'll increase the gamma value to bring out more detail and give the image more life. That's basically it. The image is now perfectly prepared for engraving. You can download it by clicking the download button and choosing your preferred format. In my case, I'll use PNG. Great. Now we can move on and import the image into our laser software. After we've imported the image, don't get confused by the grainy look again. As mentioned earlier, this is simply due to your screen resolution. Just zoom in or out to see the true detail of the image. Now, let's open our image settings. For birch plywood on my 80 watt CO2 laser, I use 120 millimeters per second speed, 15% max power, and 1% mine power. But the most important step, make sure you activate the pass-through option. If you don't, Lightburn will process your image again and double diver it, which can cause artifacts or strange lines in the final engraving. Once your settings are ready, you can start the engraving process. As you can see, the result has deep blacks and nice brown tones. It looks almost perfect on the wood. Just remember, the most critical part is having your laser perfectly aligned and properly focused. The result is impressive, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you'll give Image R a try. It's free, incredibly fast, and very effective. Thanks for watching. I wish you lots of success and a great day. Bye.